Hello, this is Takamasak. Welcome back to Let's Goof Off in Dragon Warrior. I beat the game last time, and I figured I'd grind all the way up to Super Ultra Tank Mode. Level 30, your max experience is the same as the max gold, 65,535. And look at my stats right there, 210 HP and 200 MP. Just taking a look at the rest of the stats, that stuff is just utterly ridiculous. I just wanted to show off a couple extra little things. If you happen to talk to King Lorik and come save your game, he kind of bitches at you. You're strong enough! Why can't you defeat the Dragon Lord? I don't see your guys doing crap about it, what the hell? Yeah, whatever. Let's move on to the next thing. Alright, I'm back here on an earlier save. Uh, I never really showed off what the Silver Harp did, so let's play that and see what happens. Aww. Isn't that cute? It just- HOLY CRAP! No, just, just kidding. It'll summon, like, one of the random basic monsters around if you really care. I think the strongest thing it can summon is, like, either a magician or a scorpion. It's nothing really terribly interesting. Regardless of where you play it, you'll get weak monsters. I don't know if you can play it in, like, Charlock Castle, but, well, there it is. Okay, I'm here in that similar save when I talked to King Lorik. I just wanted to show that the Death Necklace does indeed exist. I think I remember it taking me 22 tries of going and getting that chest. So, yeah, if you really want this thing, it's it definitely exists, but there's no real point to it. It is a cursed item, so your body will be squeezed. And you might have been wondering throughout the game, what does what being cursed do? Well, absolutely nothing in battle. It has no negative side effects whatsoever through any part of the game that I'm aware of. Except for right here. Yeah, if you're cursed, they will just throw you out on your ass. That's not really cool. I don't know if it'll let me sell it with it on. Let's go give that a try. might have to uncurse it. I was just gonna show how much you could sell it for. Yeah, there you go. 1,200 gold. So that's quite a bit of cash, but you'd... Honestly, if it took me uh, 22 tries, I'd make way more than that from that gold stash in that chest anyway. And it's really unnecessary to gold grind anyway. So, there you have it. Oh, okay. No, I'm, I'm cursed. That's it. Alright, I'm back here just outside of the Dragon Lord. Um, I just found something fairly interesting in the game. I'm actually using a Game Genie at this point, so I enabled a code that every single attack I do will be a critical hit. So that, you know, really speeds up the walk through Charlock Castle and all these battles, right? I'm just going to fight a couple battles just to prove that it is indeed in effect. And Stone Man can actually tank a hit for me. Look at that, 93, and he's still kicking. Yeah, and he did two damage. One of the strongest monsters in the game, two damage. Yeah. All right, Mr. Red Dragon, I've shown off enough. Yeah, you and your power 10. Excuse me. I think I can do, like, 160 damage, or... Maybe the attack power is what your max damage could be. I think that's how it works. Ugh. No, I didn't put in the code for a battle every step. Alright, let's see what this guy's got to say now. Ooh. Now that I'm level 30, I'm really thinking I'm gonna know. Absolutely not. Now, just what I found interesting is... For some reason, he nullifies my Game Genie, so that's pretty damn gnarly of a boss monster if you can uh, take out your Game Genie like that. And I kind of wanted to show it off the whole reason I put on the Game Genie for this in the first place. I was really actually hoping it would work on him, because I wanted to show off that I, I'm fairly certain that he is immune to critical hits, so if I were to be playing my old game and I beat it at level 20, and I got a critical hit, I would only be doing my normal damage, that 8 to 12, so that's pretty damn badass for a boss monster, I think. And at level 30, you probably don't even need to heal. Isn't that nice? Aww. Oh, 
Alright, we're back here in Rimmeldar. Not really a whole lot to show off here again, but there's this guy down here. Where is he? There he is. The guy that says, all true men wear a ring. Alright, this is really the only thing the fighter's ring does. Um, there's a lot of speculation about it. Um, the common consensus seems to be that it does absolutely nothing. And I'm inclined to agree with that, except this is the only thing it does. If you put it on, and then talk to this jerk, he kind of gives you some shit about it. Is that a wedding ring? You're too young for that crap. Yeah, I, I probably agree with you there, dude. I don't know how old this guy is, but yeah, he's too young. Um, yeah, other than that, I the stats are exactly the same, so yeah, there's nothing really to show off there. All right, we're back here uh, after beating the Dragon Lord. I actually rescued the princess last, and then went and <laughs> took her all the way through Charlock Castle to meet the Dragon Lord. Or Dragon Lord. Does anything neat happen? Let's find out. No, no. Ah, oh, oh, she just puts her down, or he just puts her down. Whatever. Yeah, I guess. Oh, okay, she was down for two seconds, and back up she goes. I was hoping something... I thought something cool happened if you were to beat the game without ever finding the princess. I thought he mentioned that, but uh, apparently not. And finally, last but not least, I just wanted to do my personal favorite ending to the game, is bringing the princess through Charlock Castle, and... Absolutely! Yes! I just kind of wanted to show what happens here also. He can bring me back for another attempt. I, I think King Loric can do that too, buddy. And you are dead, or whatever happens to you here. You're still alive, but he takes your experience away. He put me back at level 1 and took my gold. I, I don't get... What the hell happened to the princess, anyway? I think she's sacrificed. That's the way I always like to look at it. Well, I just thought I'd end this on a happy note, and I hope you enjoyed the LP and my goofy little mess-around episode. This is Takamasak. I will see you later.